a new concession agreement with Maynilad and Manila Water. This is the immediate step taken by the Metropolitan Water Works and Sewerage System after the president threatened to file economic sabotage cases against the water providers. Duterte described some provisions in the concession contracts as, quote, disadvantageous to the government and the public. The MWS is setting its sights on crafting a new agreement before the original contract expires in 2022. It will then have to go through the government's legal counsel, the DOJ, and the Office of the Solicitor General. Just to make sure we don't have onerous provisions on the contract. And uh, it's always to the benefit of the government and public interest. The issue stems from a provision in the 1997 concession agreement which prohibits the government from interfering in the setting of rates and connection charges for water. In an undertaking letter issued by the government, the Republic is tasked to indemnify the concessionaires for losses caused by interference in rate adjustments. This became the basis for the ruling of Singapore's permanent court of arbitration when it favored Manila and Manila Water in separate cases. It ordered government to pay the two firms over 10 billion pesos in total for refusing to implement rate hikes. But the concessionaires insist the government during Ramos' administration approved the original terms of the contract. The Pangilinan led by Nilad says it just inherited the contract from the previous management. However, they are willing to review the concession agreement. Nana lang po namin itong concession agreement na to, via reprivatization and competitive bidding. We don't have anything to, to do with the provisions of the contract. This was written, reviewed, and approved by government at the time. Manila Water is willing to come up with a workable solution with officials. They claim to have consulted with Finance Secretary Carlos Dominguez on the matter. But the group buy and cautions officials in drafting a new concession contract. There should be no uh, intervention by foreign entities. Hindi pwedeng may mas mataas pa sa gobyerno ng Pilipinas at didiktahan tayo ng isang foreign court. The group is also calling on the government not to implement rate hikes while review of the concession agreement is ongoing. Shaila Francisco, We Are One News.